We're gonna be in Switzerland. How cool is that? So we're here on location now. We're just going to head down. We are a bit early. Hannah actually lost her ring while feeding the ducks just in a duck pond just over here. I love you. We're at Wiley Park. Now I've never actually been here and that's what I love about doing lost or recovery and doing this professionally guys is this this job takes me places where I've never been before. Some places I don't exactly want to go like in this smelly pond behind me <laughs> but hey I never turn down a job. It all depends on the safety of course. If, if it is a bit risky now I have a wife and a child I do have to be responsible. Yeah just there. Uh, Oh, the okay. oh there, that, yeah, yeah, there's a diabetic needle. Yep. Yeah, okay, so that's all right. When I was a bit more young, uh, yeah, I'd do anything <laughs> as most young people would. Excuse me, have you seen Hannon? Young lady about this tall. She's lost a ring here somewhere. Do you know if this is a location? It is. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're in a, we're in a location. Hannon was standing right here. And she had some bread in her. That was just poo. I've just been pooped on. <laughs> I've just been pooped on. Well, I've just been pooped on. <laughs> I hear that seven years good luck. So we're going to find the ring today because I'm, I'm covered in poop. <laughs> All right. So Hannon was actually standing right here. Hannon, you're standing in this position. And you're just throwing the bread to the bird. And she told me she's just thrown the bread and she's seen the ring. It's hit the side of this rock. It's rolled down into the ledge. Nice little underhand. So it's just gonna be just here. Now I've done a depth test already. Just in the water guys. It's a nice gradual lean and then there's a drop down into the water and then that drop goes down to three foot. But that's no worries, we are gonna find it. If it's definitely in this location. We're gonna find this ring today, guys. I know it. The ring actually weighs 28 grams. That's gonna be the heaviest thing in here. I don't know, I might need a forklift truck to lift this thing out of the water, guys. Because 28 grams, that is a chunk of gold. And there's more diamonds on this ring than there is actually metal. <laughs> it's insane. So she's described it to me and I can't believe it. And I can't wait to show you what this ring looks like. She said black diamonds, white diamonds, very thick ring and 18 karat gold. Can you believe it? Just down there, there's a ring covered in diamonds. We're gonna find it today too. Just a word of caution guys, when you do hunt ponds like this, harmful algae like the blue green algae, that harms both humans and animals, so you gotta be careful. Normally, you're not allowed to swim in these ponds. We do have council permission as well. They're right here behind us as well. They said, yeah, no worries. I am a professional. Not really. <laughs> I'm actually here with Hannon, the owner. Now she's chosen not to be on film today and that's okay. Just gonna speak with Hannon now. When was it that you actually lost your ring? It was on Monday. Yep, Monday um, feeding the ducks. Yeah, and all I see is my ring slide down off my finger. Oh, okay. Right into the water. So you're throwing bread to the and, ducks. Yeah, and my Actually, my, and the my, rings? Yes, my ring just fell with the bread. Oh no. Just started that And very quickly, because we have the search location just behind us. Where was it exactly? Just in that rock. Just down here. Okay, so just down there by the little waterfall stream there and the ducks go. Hopefully the ducks don't eat it. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah. just down there. We're going to get in the water. Hopefully it's only going to be three foot deep, though the councilman did say behind us in the middle of the pond, which it's not going to be in, it does get up to three metres. So if you see me disappear underwater, I will come back up. Hannon, we're going Thank to find you your so ring much. today. Thank you so much. No worries. All right guys, let's gear up, get in the water. See you out there guys. Cheers. <laughs> Look at that, it's too cold. I right, can't move it along, move it along. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Gotta move these ducks out of the way, I fear they're gonna eat that ring. <laughs> so that's the camera just there. Yeah. You just hold it like that, it's alright. I'm just hoping this is it. 
That sounds like it. Something. I'd say this is going to be it though. <laughs> okay. She doesn't smell pretty. Okay. I'm seeing something. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Check that out. Jesus, you sound good. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Stop. Stop. Oh, no, I, I, get, I, get hold, I get hold of it. Yeah. Cheers. Don't drop it. Yeah, it <laughs> Part of the I just want to have a quick look to get it. Cheers, man. We, we that is awesome, that. Man, so that is. What kind of diamonds are they? Are they black diamonds. Black diamonds. Yeah. Blood, blood diamonds. Black diamonds. Black diamonds. Black Check diamonds. that out, guys. They have black diamonds. <laughs> this is going to be too short to even make a video. It's not even oh. five minutes. We got out here in the duck pond. Got my Detechnic Tech Pointer. Really good. Unbelievable. That's gorgeous, eh? Hey? Nice. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I make a video out of this. I found it in less than two minutes. Wiley Park <laughs> and the, the, the smelly champion. duck pond. You're the champion. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Are you are you the husband? No, no, yes, we just look around. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, cool. So we just found it. 18k. And there is, I don't even know, count the diamonds in that, guys. That is, that's freakish. That, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of diamonds in there, oh, I can't even count them. I, I, yeah, fingers and toes, I need to count them all again. Well, that's insane. Right, I've got the owner here with me. She has chosen just not to be shown on film. So out of respect, yeah, we don't, we don't film any owners. That, uh, three, two, one. <laughs> We don't film owners when they don't want to be filmed, so that's okay. She's probably a celebrity, guys. Here you go. Thank you so much. No worries. Thank you, and that's my ring back. Good guys. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get home. Here we go. No horn. All right. <clears throat> Always want to be on one of those things, eh? Yep. <laughs> Cheers, man. Because all my gear is actually packed up and ready to go back to Switzerland. That's right, guys. I'm officially announcing it. Next time you see me, we're gonna be geared up. We're gonna be out there in Switzerland. We're gonna be hunting the lakes and rivers for modern day treasures. Now, I do have one lady who's actually called us up. She is in Switzerland. We are gonna go there. We are gonna locate a ring. We are gonna find her ring, guys. You know me, I always find the goods. So guys, all I wanna say is share, like, subscribe, who knows where we're going to be next week? Well, I already told you, we're going to be in Switzerland. How cool is that? It's going to be beautiful. And we're also going to be hunting some really special areas. Now, we did actually hire a car. We're going to be in Switzerland for two and a half months, guys. Can you believe it? Because it is winter here in Australia now. You can see it's raining. It's miserable. And I don't like cold weather. I'm Australian. I don't know what it is. I'm just warm-blooded. And I like warm water. That's where we're going to be spending our summer guys in switzerland really cool can't wait to get you out there share like subscribe and i'll see you on the next hunt happy hunting guys cheers <laughs>